Hi, this is James from Epilogue. Thanks for joining us today. For today's sample, we're going to be doing some wine bottle engraving. Now, this is a very simple technique, but we're going to show you the tips and tricks we use to make sure we get a nice frosted look on the bottle. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the design software, and we're going to show you how easy it is to actually set up your logo and get it ready to go. So we have a wedding logo here. And the first thing I need to do is I need to know how much space I want to engrave on the wine bottle itself. So I find about three inches around is going to make a nice size logo. So we'll go ahead and resize this to three inches. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to change the graphic to gray. And the reason I do this is the laser is basically micro fracturing the uh, glass as it engraves it. So it creates tiny shards of glass. Now, if we separate those dots, we can disperse the heat a little bit and get a nice smooth frosted engraving. So I'm going to choose 60% black, so it'll be nice and gray. And next, to position the logo, you don't have to worry about the page size or anything because we'll use center engraving, but we do need to turn the logo because the wine bottle is going to be sitting on the rotary attachment sideways. And I know that the left side is going to be over here. So I'm going to turn this graphic 90 degrees clockwise. And that's all there is to it. We're ready to go ahead and send that over to the laser dashboard. So I'll go ahead and print that. Now that the graphics here, all I need to do is go into my advanced tab and I'll turn on the rotary attachment and that's just going to turn off the uh, camera because uh, it's not really useful for this type of project. And then for centering point, I'll choose center center. And this is the easiest way to make sure that you've aligned your artwork. And finally, I'll just import my material settings. So I'm coming down to glass engraving, and we're on an 80 watt uh, Fusion Edge 24. So right now it's set to 500 DPI, 70% speed, 100% power. I like that speed and power, but one thing I like to do is actually take this down to 300 dots per inch to further separate those dots for a nice frosted engraving. And then what I do is I go into my dithering settings, and I choose Stucky. And what this is going to do is it's going to actually randomize the dots. So uh, since we're using a low DPI and grayscale, we would actually see a dot pattern when it engraves because it's separated them so much. This now randomizes those dots so we'll get a nice even frosted engraving. We're ready to go, so just hit print. So here at the machine, we already have the rotary attachment installed. That's very simple to do. There's just a plug back here that you plug into the machine, set it at the back of the machine, and do all that with the machine off and then boot up the machine. So it recognizes the rotary is installed. And we're just gonna take our wine bottle and place it on the rollers. Now we're using our, our rim style rotary attachment. This is very simple to use makes it easy to switch between bottles. Once I have that done, I just need to level the bottle. So I'm just going to use this crank until my bottle is nice and level. And finally, I'm going to focus the laser. So I'm just going to pull this over a little bit. I'll put on my focus gauge. And then I just lift the table until it's just touching that focus gauge. That looks great. Now for positioning, all you need to do is I'm going to jog the laser over to the center point of the bottle. And then I'm going to press centering point on the display panel and we're ready to go. We can send the job over now.
now we have a really beautifully laser engraved wine bottle for an event. Now the engraving came out really nice on this. It's frosted and smooth, so exactly the effect we want from the laser. Now, if you are offering this as a service to your customers, I'd suggest coming up with different logos for different events. So you could have a wedding logo, uh, graduation, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, the list is really endless. You know, I know we've got a number of liquor store customers that actually have lasers on site and offer the service to their customers. So it's really a great business model. So I hope you found these tips helpful and I hope you join us again. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you know when the latest videos are coming out. Thanks and have a great day.